Hello anatomy students! In this video I'm going to explain the major arteries that branch off the abdominal aorta and the direction of blood flow through them. The abdominal aorta begins just after the thoracic aorta passes through the diaphragm through an opening called the aortic hiatus. The aorta lies just anterior to the vertebral column as it descends down the abdomen. The right and left inferior phrenic arteries are the first paired branches off the abdominal aorta. They supply the diaphragm, the word phrenic refers to the diaphragm, as well as the suprarenal or adrenal glands. The celiac trunk is the first unpaired branch of the abdominal aorta branching just below the diaphragm as the aorta passes through the hiatus. The word celiac refers to the abdomen, and this artery divides into three abdominal branches, the left gastric, splenic, and common hepatic arteries. The left gastric artery is the smallest of the three branches and branches superiorly toward the left to run along the lesser curvature of the stomach where it then anastomoses with the right gastric artery. It supplies the esophagus, the lesser curvature of the stomach, and the lesser omentum, which is a fold of peritoneum that connects the stomach with other abdominal organs. The splenic artery is the largest branch of the celiac trunk and branches off the left side just below the left gastric artery and then passes horizontally to the left along the pancreas. As its name suggests, it supplies the spleen, but it also branches off several other arteries that go on to supply the pancreas, the greater curvature and fundus of the stomach, the fundus is the upper part of the stomach, and the greater omentum. The common hepatic artery branches off the right side of the celiac trunk. The hepatic artery proper branches off the common hepatic and runs up to supply the liver. The word hepatic refers to the liver. It also supplies the gallbladder and lesser omentum. The right gastric artery is another branch of the common hepatic. It curves back to the left side of the abdomen to supply the lesser curvature of the stomach and lesser omentum, and then anastomoses with the left gastric artery. The superior mesenteric artery is the next unpaired branch of the abdominal aorta, branching off anteriorly about one centimeter below the celiac trunk near the first lumbar vertebra. It moves through the mesenteries, the parts of the peritoneum that bind the small intestine to the posterior abdominal wall, and has five branches that form extensive anastomoses throughout the GI tract, which supply the pancreas, most of the small intestine, the appendix, the ascending colon, and most of the transverse colon. The next three sets of arteries are paired branches off the abdominal aorta. The right and left suprarenals, or adrenals, the renals, and the gonadal arteries. There are actually several pairs of suprarenal arteries, but the middle pair is the only one to branch directly off the abdominal aorta. The others branch off the inferior phrenic and renal arteries. The term suprarenal refers to its location superior to the kidney. Renal refers to anything related to the kidneys. The right and left suprarenal arteries branch off near the level of L1 and supply the adrenal glands. The paired right and left renal arteries branch off the sides of the abdominal aorta near L2, about one centimeter below the superior mesenteric artery. They go on to supply all the tissues of the kidneys. The paired right and left gonadal arteries branch off the front of the abdominal aorta near L2, 
just below the renal arteries. The word gonadal refers to the reproductive organs which these arteries supply. In women, the gonadals are called the ovarian arteries and supply the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and ureters. In men, the gonadals are called the testicular arteries and are longer than the ovarian arteries, descending into the scrotum to supply the testes, epididymis, ductus deferens, and ureters. The inferior mesenteric artery is the last of the unpaired branches of the abdominal aorta, arising from the front of the aorta near L3 and moving to the left where it forms extensive anastomoses and several branches that supply the remainder of the large intestine, including the transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and the upper part of the rectum. The abdominal aorta ends near the upper part of the pelvic cavity as it divides into the right and left common iliac arteries near L4.